Hey, what's up everybody? This is my review of DC Universe Classics Deathstroke right here. And the reason I picked up this guy is one word, badass. Yep, this guy is well armed. Uh, he's got the machine gun, the sword, the staff, and a handgun. And the other thing is I he this this particular figure here reminded me a lot of this guy here. Marvel's Deadpool and talking with some of my uh, YouTube viewers I found out that this guy here Deadpool is a copy of Deathstroke or a ripoff so regardless of, of the origins of either one of these I, I still like both of them they they just are well armed and just really really badass figures and characters so looking at uh, Deathstroke here do a little 360 action here. Uh, you can see here the staff does store on the back. It it stores pretty well, but if you bump it, it tends to fall off. But here's a look at the uh, staff. It's uh, you know flexible plastic. I wouldn't say really soft, but it is uh, soft enough that in the packaging it was uh, warped. So I've kind of straightened it out a little bit. But uh, you can see there the staff and. Uh, take a look at the machine gun here and one thing about the hands on this figure these hands are not hands but the fingers rather the uh, fingers themselves are a really flexible plastic there it's so soft that I'm afraid if I really was to go very far that might stress or even tear so it's that soft but because it's that soft it really allows you to get the handle of the weapons in the hand pretty easily, which is good. So with that comment, uh, let's take a look at the machine gun here. And this is really soft plastic, as you can see here, especially the stock here. You can see that, just very, very soft. Uh, not sure if I like that, but it's very nicely detailed with black and silver with some molded details in the plastic. So really nice. You can you know hang it off his shoulder if you want, but uh, yeah, I just don't like that too much. That's just too soft. But uh, anyways, the machine gun. And the sword. Nothing beats a figure with machine guns and swords. I tell you, it's really awesome. Uh, and you guys know I'm a big fan of uh, figures with swords, so Deathstroke fit that bill quite nicely. And he's got a quite, de quite nicely detailed uh, sword, especially the grip there, as you can see silver and kind of a bronze color for the, uh, the the grip so that's nice and really nice as you can see he's got a little handgun with a holster now actually this flap here and 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 take a look at the the details in that holster it almost really mimics like a leather holster really nice you can see there's some like creases in the actual holster to mimic like leather but you can see here you take this off it pegs into the side there and the handgun is removable which is really nice and uh, like the other weapons you can fit it in his hand quite nicely uh, rather a small weapon compared to some of these other ones but nonetheless it is awesome that it actually comes out and you know stores back here in the holster uh, so that's really nice I'll go ahead and put that back in here and uh, because I'm not going to be using this small weapon very much, so it's nice to have it stored on the figure. And as other reviewers have pointed out, it's nice when everything stores on the figure. Like, you know, for example, the staff can store back here, you can sling this over the shoulder, and I guess I should mention that you have this nice looking sheath right here. A little bit large, I think, but uh, nonetheless very nice, and the sword does go in there and you can probably get his hand around uh, like he's about to take it out of its sheath which is really cool something like that but uh, yeah very nice uh, he's got this uh, ammo clip it's silver colored and it looks like it might come off yeah there's a, it looks like there might be a way you can take it off but I'm just gonna leave it on there because it looks kind of uh, odd without having this uh, ammo belt here on his over his shoulder um, so let's take a look at the figure in detail. Let's go do a close-up of the head sculpt. 
Uh, not too much detail there, but what's there is really nice. I like how on one side of the face, the orange side, you have the uh, kind of the pupil of the eye showing, whereas over here you don't. I'm sure there's some reference to the actual character uh, for that feature. You've got a little uh, belt here, not really a belt, but a holster maybe over his shoulder. It's, doesn't really do anything functional, but it's, it's actually molded in there. Um, my favorite detail overall of the figure itself is this blue, I'm going to call it like chainmail. I don't know what actually it is, but it's just fantastically detailed, very vibrant colors with the, you know, the, the blue metallic. You've got some black in there for some shading. You also got that uh, chainmail effect on his arm here and also on the back. So really nice. Very detailed, uh, excuse me, very detailed belt, as you can see. And I mentioned the fact that you can see the creases in the holster that mimics the leather effect. Uh, really nice. And you got nice leather straps here. Really cool. And you got some straps around his uh, thigh. And he got, so he's got some big boot tops there. Articulation wise, let's take a look at articulation. Uh, head can rotate and look down a little bit and that's pretty much it. You've got this uh, soft leather, not leather, but soft plastic strap here. Not strap, but uh, I don't know what you call that coming out of his uh, head. But then you have uh, articulation at the shoulders, you know, the ball hinge shoulders as you, as you would expect. Uh, swivel at the bicep, a single bend at the elbow. You can see there. Uh, wrists do rotate, but they're stiff. I'm afraid if I force it, I'm going to break it, but you do have rotation there. Uh, of course, you have the ab crunch right there. Um, you do have waist articulation, as you can see. The joint is kind of hidden behind the belt. Uh, forwards with the leg, backwards out. You have the standard DC Universe Classics joint there um, at the where the hip connects to the pelvic area. Uh, swivel at the, or above the knee. A bend, single bend at the, at the knee area. Or I used to say a single joint, rather. And finally you have articulation at the ankle. And it doesn't seem to want to rotate. So I'm thinking it probably doesn't have rotation, just a hinge joint like that, apparently. Uh, I don't want to force it, but yeah, pretty nice articulation, very nicely detailed figure, lots and lots of accessories that it comes with, and it also comes with his base. As you can see there, it's just a standard base. It doesn't have his name or anything on there, but it does have one peg sticking up there. Uh, the joints are kind of loose, as you can see. The ab crunch is loose. But, uh, you know, I don't think that's anything to do with the figure. Uh, probably it's, maybe it's just mine, but uh, on mine at least it's loose. But you can still pose the figure, uh, and it's, it's a really, really nice figure, i got to say. And makes a good companion for this guy. If you, like, uh, if you like Deadpool and you're willing to venture into the DC Universe Classics line, uh, then I highly recommend you get uh, Deathstroke here. All right, well, thanks for watching. This has been my review of DC Universe Classics Deathstroke.